Hello students, this is Mr. Root. Today, after this lesson, you will be able to graph lines from equations in slope-intercept form. Start off with some vocabulary. Go to your vocabulary section under S, write slope-intercept form. Slope-intercept form is the form of an equation where y is by itself. Right, commonly written as y equals mx plus b. You'll notice y is on one side of the equation all by itself. We call this slope-intercept form because the slope and the y-intercept can be easily found. The slope is the number connected to the x, and the y-intercept is the number afterwards or by itself, not with a variable. All right, so our slope, another vocab word, is referred to as the M. It's always the M. Our slope, the definition, is the rate of change, how something changes. It shows um, that change. Okay. Um, it also shows on the graph and in tables how the dependent variable, which is always your Y variable, remember, changes as the independent variable changes, and that's your X. All right. So um, commonly written as a ratio of the changes in Ys divided by the changes in x's. Okay. Now, when we graph, we found out our y-axis goes up and down, and our x-axis goes laterally. All right. So the, ratio, the slope is also always ref or commonly referred to as the rise, because our y's go up and down, over the run, because we run laterally. Last vocab, um, the y-intercept. This is the b in the slope-intercept equation. All right, your slope intercept is your initial amount or your starting value, wherever you start. All right, and we're always going to be starting on the y axis. All right, when we graph, and so it's where the graph intersects the y axis. All right, today we're going to be graphing, so if you have some graph paper, take that out and, we're, and do your graphs on those graph paper, tape the graphs in, or you can do the notes on the graph paper. So, first one. We have to graph y equals 2 thirds x plus 1. All right, first thing we want to do all right, is figure out our y-intercept. Our y-intercept is always b. It's at the end. Now since it says plus 1, all right, remember our pluses mean positive. Our, our y-intercept then is at positive 1. So we always start at, our, at the origin. The y-intercept is positive 1. So we have a spot right there okay now we have one point and we know how things change because we have a slope our slope talks about our rate of change and in this case our slope which is right next to x is two-thirds so positive two over positive three rise over run so we're gonna what this says is since it's positive two and positive three we're gonna go positive two in the y direction up two, and positive three in the x direction so it's going to be up 2 and over 3. So all of our points all right, will follow this pattern. We're going to go from this point, we're going to go up 2 and over 3. And we always count the intersections. So we're going to go up 1 intersection, 2 intersections, over 3 intersections. And we got another point. Okay. Again, we're going to go up 1, 2 intersections, and over 1, 2, 3. All right, so we have three points, but they're just in one area. Now, positive 2 over positive 3 makes positive 2 thirds. But we also know that negative divided by a negative will equal positive 2 thirds. All right, so in this case, we could also write the slope as negative 2 over negative 3. All right, and that means we're going to go down. Okay, so from our points, we go down to and over 3 in the other direction. All right, so from this point, instead of positive y, positive x, we go negative y, negative x. And we've got another point. So we're going to go down 2 and to the left 3. We can do this again, down 2 and to the left 3, because we're going in the negative directions. All right, now we've got all these points. All right, pretend you're back in kindergarten. All right. And we're going to play connect the dots. All right. And draw your line. Now, 
your line actually keeps going and so when you draw your lines you always want to end all right with arrows you want arrows on both ends all right so oops and I don't have mine on the end right here I need to have an arrow going the opposite direction all right so you always want to make arrows going to the left and to the right so we've got an arrow and arrow because it keeps going all right, next equation, we need to graph y equals negative 4 fifths x. All right, first thing, where's our starting point? Well, there's nothing back here. There's no number by itself. Well, what number means nothing is 0. So it's kind of like there's a plus 0 here. So our first point is going to be at 0. All right, from here, we use our slope, our rate of change. Our rate of change is negative 4 fifths. Now, this negative can either go with the 4 or with the 5. All right, it does not go with both of them. It if it was both of them, it would cancel each other out, like in the last problem. So it's negative 4 over 5. All right, so from our point, we're going to go down 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All right, negative 4 in the y direction, positive 5 in the x direction, All right, and we've got our point. Okay. Or we could go the other direction. We could put the negative with the 5. So it would be positive 4 over negative 5. Positive divided by a negative equals a whole negative. So positive 4 and negative 5. So we would go up 4 in the y direction and negative 5 in the x direction. And giving us to our other point right over here. And then we, all right, we're in kindergarten. Connect your dots. Actually, we're in eighth grade, and we're still connecting the dots. All right, we got that. And because this line goes on forever, all right, put arrows at the end of your line. All right, it will continue. All right, it stays on that rate of change, but we ran out of graph paper.